Okay. Oh look, you got Buddy Hall signature. I told you. About I told you that a long time. I showed it to you. I didn't notice it said Buddy Hall. So, so here, this here, Buddy Hall right here, the one that I have this for 27 some odd years right here, the signature Buddy Hall. The Buddy Hall used to be a roommate of I, I Mike. I stayed with him for a little while. He's, 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 they call him a rifleman, and he's in the Hall of Fame for billiards. Not only a great guy, God rest, God rest his, God rest her souls. His wife Kathy passed away. She was a great woman. Hi to his son Nathaniel, and uh, hey buddy, what's up? Um, probably one of the greatest pool players that ever lived and still alive. So we're you had this shot by almost right by the time. Yep. Okay. So all I do is move. Mm -hmm. I would aim edge to edge on the ball. Mm -hmm. Play this ball way right here. Okay. Right. I wouldn't do any other way. Hold on one second. So, Mike is showing me this shot because there was, there was a critical shot last night. If you go back and sort of watch, I think, the, I think it's a, my 11th week in the APA. You can take a look at that. That'll be coming out. It should be out already. But the, I had a shot right here. I went for it. Came back. Red. Reverse bank. The nine ball is down that way. Reverse bank. I wrapped it. And I, I sat there and looked for a while. And I wanted, I even thought about putting this over here, but I just wasn't comfortable with the speed. So that's something I got to work on. So Mike is going to show me. So what I would do is I would aim edge to edge. And that's too much more over there. Uh, see, see, see the ball coming over there? Right. I just had to edge just play the four ball right here. I'm not, my cue ball is going to go down the table. I know it is. No, I'm going to do it. Play that in the middle of the table right there. And play my cue ball at the end. That's all I want to do. I don't want to do it any other. How often do we? How? Who do you know that's going to fire this ball in a hole and get shaped? Not too many people. All the time. Maybe one out of a hundred, whatever the case may be. But uh, realistically, it's not going to happen. On well, the bar table, it's a little easier, but still, it's tough. It's not easy. Really? Well, better than. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. We'll go twenty dollars a shot. Okay. I'll give you three to one on the money, Mr. Moore. Okay. And you can just fire as many in as you want, because I got a whole lot of money to pay you. <laughs> Guarantee you, that's not going to happen. All right. I'm saying it's easier on a bar table than a big table. But I'm still saying it's a long way. Oh, it's a tough shot. For the dough. There's no uh, question about nobody, it. Nobody, nobody it. I guess I should play it better. Safe. By the way, this uh, the, the voice you hear is Jimmy Moore Jr. Uh, oh, I can't. I'm sorry, you guys are on. No problem. Yeah. So here, get my phone. Why are you so busy? I'll, I'll play it again. Why are you so busy? busy guy? You make me busy. <laughs> okay, That's what about right there, Jimmy? That's the right shot, brother. Okay, is that one you... No, I, I gotta I'm, not, I'm not going to shoot that for the money. Okay, okay. Yeah. so question for you. Huh? If you were to take this shot, how would you shoot this? Where would you put this? Okay, let me hang up this phone. I'd make it up here. I'd cross it. You wouldn't play safety? Yeah, that's it. I'd make it up here across it. Okay, here, yeah. put it down yeah, here. Put yeah. it right back here. Yeah, you cross over it, you bring it up. But your speed's got to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's the old key of that shot. So anyway, so let's get to, you warm up, and then we'll get to the English, okay? That's 75 and 50, right? Okay. I mean, it's three quarters, right? Go to the edge. That's what I just shot. The edge, 75 from pivot to the edge. So let me ask you this. An edge shot is an edge shot no matter what. So why do you need to go 75 and the long distance straight up? Uh, because first of all, if you, aim, if, you, if you do everything the same way, every time you, you, you get down on the ball, you're gonna have a pre-shot with you. And if you just get down and aim to one part of the ball, then you're ruining everything that we that I've tried to teach you. Because now you're getting down and you're finding the right part of the edge. Because remember, you have to get the center of this shaft to the edge of that ball, to the horizon, or whatever, it's, right. whatever you want to call it. Right. So, so basically, you want to see it like half half, right? Like half half. Like half, -half. Well, no, you're aiming three quarters and you're pivoting your cue stick to the edge and you're firing like you're supposed to.
See, that's why I don't just aim it to edge. I think you aim to edge and pivot it over just because of here. If we're right here, and I'm right here, and you get behind me, I'm aiming 75 to, to three quarters, and I'm going out. Okay, no. What are what are you doing different? I on that shot you lined up to the edge and pivoted out because you had it in your mind. I, this is what I believe. You know, if I'm wrong, tell me. But I think you had it in your mind already. I'm going to aim to the edge because I already aimed to the edge. But by doing that, I mean, it's my opinion is is ruining everything. That I think that's the greatest part about this system is because we it's allowing us to have our own pre-shot routine. Number one, okay. So, just like lining up to center, free throw. So, just like in the beginning, when we're lining up to center, on a split the difference, we're lining up to center and, and splitting the difference to the edge. So, we're lining up to center and splitting the difference. So, we're going to do the same thing every time we're down on the ball when we're down on that shot. So when you, if, you, if we take it and we change it, what's the use in even doing it? You know what I mean? Because now you're going to have, you're going to find flaws. Now if you go either way, because it's kind of like a cheater's way to find a spot on the ball to make it dead to hold. So if we don't use that, then what are we doing? You know, it's easy. I know it's easy for me. Same thing, splitting the difference. Aim for center. Go in the half, find the dead hole, around. It's uh, real simple. We're, we're shooting these balls over here, it's the same thing. We're, we're, now, it's, now it's more of aiming for 75 and then going to the edge. So, and, and if you don't can't find 75, start at, start at 50, go over to 75, and then pivot to the edge, and then dead in the hole. And that's how I, when I figured it out, I, I had to do it that way because I just had to find the exact spot that I needed to hit and you know it's that's how I came up with this so it's so great for that reason. A lot of people don't have a three shot routine, they just get down on the ball and they hit the ball. We don't do that anymore. What we do is we split the difference. We got a we got a program. And if we follow the, the appropriate process, then there's a better chance we'll get appropriate results. So if I get down on the ball the same way every time and do the same thing. I know I'm going to probably make the ball every time. <laughs> tell, uh, tell people about your uh, pre-shot routine. Your. My pre-shot routine lines up exactly with what we're doing. This is my pre-shot routine. I tell myself in my mind, well, I identify the shot. What kind of shot is it? Is it 50, 75, or edge? So I know this is a 50. So I know in my mind, no matter what, I'm starting out at 50. So when I get, when I get down to 50, I already know where I want my ball for the next shot. I already know what I have to do, so now all I gotta do is just execute it. So I'm just lining up to 15, pivoting halfway between there and the edge and, and firing. So I'm lining up to 50, pivoting halfway, going back, and firing. And it's dead in the shape on my next one. So that's what I do. And that works for me. You may want to do it in whatever you do, as long as you use, identify the shot, say, okay, well, this is a split the difference, then you know your first step in your pre-shot routine because now you already know what you need to do to make the ball. You know what kind of shot it is. So this may be split the difference, but this, you tell yourself, well, and if it's kind of close, you say, well, you know, this looks like a split the difference, but it can kind of go either, I don't know. So you know that it can't be because it's not almost straight. The only thing that split the difference is almost straight. But as soon as you get outside that boundary, you know you just go to 75. So it's that easy. So I'm gonna aim 75 from the other side, 75 over here, and I'm gonna go to the edge, and I'm gonna fire it in the hole. So I'm in 75, I'm lining up, I go to the edge, and I fire it in the hole. And that's the way I do it. And that's my pre-shot routine, knowing, identifying the shot, knowing how I'm going to hit it, and execute. I don't talk, think about anything let's else. Let's talk a little bit more about setting up. There's a lot of people that go down and they just start, they start stroking their, okay. uh, 
I, I, there's two ways I've set up, okay? Um, and I'll do it facing the camera. There's two ways I've set up, okay? I have set up. One, you can use your right foot and point to where your initial shot. So if this is splitting the difference, which it is, I'm using my right foot to point straight to the center of the object ball. And all I'm gonna do is step in, still there, split the difference, and fire the ball. Now, the way I line up, and you'll see in the video, in the videos of me playing, I line up a little bit different. But it's the same in all actuality. I line up my back foot and my stick. You'll see my stick come straight down to where I want to hit the ball. So I was 50%, I'm aiming at half the ball, and my back foot and my back arm, and everything is in line, and I get down on the ball, and I aim at half, and I pivot over. But I do the same thing every time. Matter it's, if the ball's right in front of the hole, if the ball's right in front of the hole, like this, no matter what, it doesn't make a difference, I'm not just gonna get down on the ball and shoot the ball. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off my back foot, my cue stick's gonna be straight in line where I wanna do. I know this is 75, it's not almost straight. I know this is 75 and I need to go to the edge. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna go to 75 and I'm gonna go to the edge. If I do it on every shot, no matter how hard, how, how, how easy, I'm going to have a great foundation and a good pre-shot routine, which is going to make my chances better and succeed at what I'm doing. Like I said, there's two ways to hit English on the ball, okay? One is to go through on your last stroke, okay? And the other, if you're not comfortable with that, is to light up on the ball. We know this split the difference. So now I, I've lined up to 50. I've, I've gone to split half the distance between the edge. Now if I want right hand English, all I do is move my stick to the right and hit the ball. That's for people that would rather line up with English. So if I want to if I want to go left hand English, same thing. I line up to 50. I split the difference to the edge. I go, I pivot my stick to the left hand English. It's really that simple. And if you want to take a couple strokes after you pivot because you know where you're aiming, that's fine too. So I'll do it with a couple strokes on both so you'll you'll see. So I'm aiming straight at the ball, splitting the difference. I'm aiming straight at the ball, splitting the difference. I'm going halfway over to the edge. I'm lighting up the right hand English, I'll take a stroke and here we go. If, if you're not sure about lining up with English and you want to line up with English, it's really simple. All you have to do is line up your ball just like you normally, this is splitting the difference. So let's say you want left hand English on the ball. So I'm gonna line up, I'm gonna line up to the center, I'm gonna go halfway over, and I'm gonna move my cue to the left. And I'm gonna pull back, and I get the same result. So if I wanna do it, let me get a ball. If I wanna do it with right hand English, let's say follow right hand or whatever the case may be, um, and I want to use right hand English, all I do is the same thing I always do. I make sure I line up the same way every time. This goes to 50. I go halfway over, split the difference to the edge, put my cue to the right. So that way there's never no guesswork. Because if you can make this fall, this cue, if you can make this object fall, and I'll make it straight, if you can make it with however you're aiming, and that's the spot to hit it. You can make it anywhere on your cue ball. So we know this is a center, a center ball hit, right? So if I'm to aim center, and I and I, and, I, and I pivot all the way over, the field goes dead in the hole. Okay. Look at the ball spin. If I'm going to aim center, and I want to go to the left. It's the same thing. So if I can make it with center ball, I, and how I'm aiming, I can make it anywhere on the cue ball. I'll do the same thing again. I get down. I aim a straight in shot. Okay. I go all the way to the left. No matter what. So that's not going to, the English is not going to make a difference on, on basically on, on where your ball, it, the only make, things that makes a difference is where your ball goes after contact. And that's, that's the most important part we're doing here. So if we want to hit this ball with right hand English, just come off the rail and come out over here. We know it's splitting the difference because it's almost straight. So I'm going to aim to 50 like I'm supposed to be able to split the difference halfway to the end and up. I'm going to put my cue stick to the right, right in English, and the ball's going to come right off the rim. Same thing. Okay, 
So if it was, if the ball was over here and I had to go two rails to get out, I would, I would hit it. I wouldn't hit it with high because high would make it, I could hit it hard and come all the way over here and there. But why make the cue ball travel so far? So I go lower, much to like half the ball or a tip below center. So I come out two rails and get right here for the, for the one ball. So I line up 50% to split the difference. I split the difference halfway and I do the ball. There you go. And I got good shape on the ball. So I want to hit it high. I would split the difference on this. I wouldn't even, I'd put maybe a half a tip of red hand English, that's all. So it just gets to the right and comes right out here and goes there. So I'd hit center in a 750 on a seven ball, split the difference, half a tip of right hand. There you go. It's another way to get to the ball, that's all it is. It's another way. I'd aim center with a half a tip of right, but I go to 50. And I split the difference at the end. I go half a tip of right. And that's perfect. That's perfect. And dead. Nice. I think I could make this one work with real I don't know. That's tough. <laughs> I don't know. That's tough. Wow. That was a tough shot right there. Oh, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> So now I can do it all day long with you, but we need to see Kenny do it. Aim for 50, 50. split the difference, the one tip over the left. So all you have to do is split the difference and find halfway and uh, go to the right, go back and fire. That's all you have to do, it's that easy. But if you do think, that's what I was talking about before, the most, one of the most important things. If you follow the appropriate process and the channels and steps you're supposed to do in the process, and you don't cheat and start out at 75, and because you start out at 75, which probably isn't the spot you're supposed to hit, you're going to overcut the ball. But if you start out in the center at that, and go half split the difference, and then move your cue stick to the right, it's going to be you know, a lot of the percentage of the time. And I'll do it one more time, and you're going to do it two or three more times. So you're going to see me get behind me, Kenny. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to aim it the same way. I'm going to aim 50%. I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to move my cue stick one to the right. It just doesn't look like you're hitting the top at all. Doesn't what? It looks like you're just hitting the right. It doesn't look like you're hitting the top. Well, yeah, but that's why the ball blew forward. Yeah, but it just doesn't look like it while I'm right. standing behind you. You were looking at the cue ball before. Yeah, yeah. And you're right. looking at the you're target. Right. Target, so. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. And that's you know what? I could have had some time doing that. I see. Yeah. You, know, it's, it's, you know, if you do, you know, one thing I want to say before you shoot the ball. If we get up every morning, we wake up in the morning and we're used to having a cup of coffee every morning, we say, okay, I want a coffee with, you know, whatever, third cream, like I drink it, right? Every morning, right out of when you get out of bed. And now all of a sudden you go to the doctor and the doctor says, no more coffee. So do you think it's going to be that easy just to say when you wake up in the morning, that habit you have where you're used to you say, okay, no more coffee. You're going to automatically go to the, the coffee machine to make your coffee in the morning. And then, you know, you're going to tell yourself, you know, I'm not supposed to have this. And whether you do it or not, drink it or not, is all. So, if you're used to doing the same thing for years and years and years and years, to just all of a sudden stop doing it and do it a different way, it's, you're going to have to work it in. It's going to take a little time. It's work. It's just like there's no magic bean. So, just take your time and do it the right way. And when you're down on that ball, when you put your English on, then you take your strokes. Other than that, you don't take any strokes at all. You won't find me taking strokes. I line up on this ball, I line up the same way, to the center. I find, I find a difference right there, and then I put my right hand English on. I take a stroke in and... Yeah. 
Mike, I find myself, uh, I need your help on this one. Mm -hmm. I find myself when I'm stroking out for some reason, when I'm hitting it, I'm going like this. Because you're grabbing a cue. Okay, so you need to take your, you need to, okay. Don't let your finger, you won't, you'll see me here. If, if I, okay, I got a point on this cue, so if, if you'll be able to see this on the, on the camera, okay? If, if I if I grab this if, if I if I try and go straight and I grab this look what my look at my stick does look at my stick it goes all the way it goes to the right that point goes to the right see and that's what's happening now if that's what a full grip just holding the cue like this you're gonna grab it because you want you to stop going through well now what I do is I hold the cue with with these two fingers right here. In between your pinky and your index fingers and i do not let my index finger or my thumb touch the cue at all okay so now now it looks like it is but it's not so now when i go through when i go through i go straight through see i go straight straight but if i grab it look what happens now that's that unnecessary english you're putting on the ball i think you have to if you have to be grip it full right you just automatically I automatically say, grab yeah. it yeah if you, you use these I mean, you still have this on there. It's just more weight is on these two. Yeah, and all, and all you do, all you're doing, is is you're still you're going straight. Everything's going straight then. But if you're shooting a straight in shot and you grab that cue, that ball's going to go to the left or the right. <laughs> it's all gripping it hard. You see, you're yeah, saying. you're gripping it. You got the death grip on. I call it the death grip. Yeah. Let the difference in the end. Pull back and hard. I mean, this is what this is what we talked about. In the game. What me and you talked about. In the game. If you want to take this, if you want to take this thing right here, your stroke is going to kill you, okay? Until you get a stroke, because you're trying to you're trying to look all fancy and everything. I don't want to look fancy. I just want to make the ball go roll. So all I'm doing, remember, all I'm doing is lining up to 50, just like this. I'm splitting the difference, and then I take one stroke and I pull back. I don't even mess with it. I really don't want you to even take one stroke because I want you to get used to it and then take a stroke. I want you to just keep it out there, split the difference, pull back and fire. If you poke at this ball, if I poke at this ball from here. I'm just going to show, hold on, make make it again, throw it. If you want to show, it? no, I want to show my this angle okay. that it's not even okay. in, it's not even if close. If I want to throw the ball, hold on a second. All I'm going to do, hold all on, I'm going to do is hit straight, straight at the one ball. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to hit through. <laughs> so you so, hit that 15 ball straight on, is that where you're... Yeah, straight on. So, and now if I punch the ball, watch what happens. I'm going to punch the ball, okay? See? Okay. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, that's what okay. you're doing. So, so, but if I go through on this ball, if I go through, and I'm even going to... You know what I'm going to even do? I'm going to see if I can even throw it more. See where, see, where, see where it is now? It's all the way here. Let me see. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it to the... Almost the diamond, okay? I'm going to make it almost to a diamond right here. Look at that. Look at how far that is. First of all, there's it's, Look it's at frozen. Where this ball goes. There's no way that ball's supposed to go in a hole. No way, okay? No way. Yeah. So, I want to throw the ball. No, I'm going to throw the ball. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay. That's going to come in a different lesson. Yes. Okay. All right. So my point is, is when you hit that ball, and you're aiming, and you're aiming to the left of that ball, we want that ball to go to the to the right, just like when we're aiming, just like this ball that was aiming to the right, we want it to transfer to the left. Okay. So in order to do that, you have to go through the ball. If you just poke at this ball, you're you're going to hit the rail a little bit. Okay. So we want to go through the ball. If we don't, you're not going to get that throw to the pocket. It's not going to go. It's not going to go directly throw to the hole. It's going to go different. It's going to go in a different direction. So I'm just aiming 50, 75, and okay. Real simple. But I go through the cue ball. Else we don't. We got a different way to hit. So it's almost straight. Aim 50. Go halfway. That's, that's where you need to, and it's, it's not, it's going to be, it's not going to be just an overnight thing.